So here we have our problem again of the parallel circuit connected to a battery which has an internal resistance. And what you need to do is to calculate the voltage across resistor A. Our known data, we know that the open circuit voltage was 2 volts and both resistor A and resistor B have 5 ohms of re resistance and the internal resistance is also given as 1 ohm. So I'm going to begin by talking through the strategies that we need to do to interpret the circuit and to be able to step through systematically to be able to calculate the voltage across resistor A. So I've made a statement here, that's what we're going to do, we're trying to find VA. We can simplify our circuit by considering that the internal resistance is in series with the parallel external resistors. So then that means what we'll do is work out what that external resistance is using our formula for calculating the, ex the resistance or the total resistance of parallel resistors. When we have that value, we can then determine what the current through the circuit is. So that's when we'll use this. So we know what the open circuit voltage is. So then we can use Kirchhoff's voltage law to work out what the current is. So how do we do that? Well, we'll look at that shortly. Once we know the current through the circuit and we've worked out what the external resistance is, we can work out what the voltage across this external resistance is. Then finally we can go back to our voltage rule for parallel circuits to determine the voltage across resistor A because we know in, ex, in, an, in a parallel circuit that the voltage is the same across all resistors or all loads. So we can say that voltage A equals voltage of the external resistance. So let's go through the workings then step by step. Okay, step one is find the total resistance of the external circuit. So we substitute in our values. So don't forget, we've still got to invert this. Okay, so the external resistance is 2.5 ohms. Now we can use Kirchhoff's voltage law to find current. So we can expand this out because we know using Ohm's law V equals IR so we just substitute those in. And now we substitute in our values and we can rearrange to find the current. So now that we know the external resistance, we know the current, we can work out what the voltage across the external resistance is and then we can just refer to this relationship to determine the voltage across resistor A. So we use Ohm's law again to find the voltage across the external resistance. And now, then our final statement relates to bringing it back to the parallel circuit. So we found that the voltage across resistor A is 1.43 volts. And we can use the FET simulator to just check our values are, are correct. So we've got a battery that has an open circuit voltage of 2 volts. It has an internal resistance of 1 ohm 
we can see that both resistors A and B have 5 ohms resistance. When we connect, when we close the circuit, we have a current of 0.57 amps. And then if we check our voltage across resistor A, it will be 1.43 volts. We can check it should be the same across this one because they're in parallel. And it should also be across the battery. 1.43 so the difference is due to the internal resistance.